YouTube, what is up? It is the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. Back with another video for you guys. Got a sneaker review for you guys. A sneaker that I'm actually really excited to have in hand and see in hand. Um, for a couple of different reasons, but I'll get into that real quick. Shout out to the guys over at Hype Room. I did do a video with them this past Friday. If you guys saw that, definitely go check them out. Um, hit them up on Instagram, their website. I'm not sure if their website's back up now, but it will. If it's not back up now, it'll be back up soon. But definitely make sure you go check them out. Um, the video with them will be down below in the description. But that's enough talking. Before we get into the video, though, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Join the channel. Goal is to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. Also, smash that like button. Really helps with the algorithms. Helps the videos get shown to new people. And then last but not least, follow my Instagram at Anonymous Sneaker. You got, a lot of, you got a lot of information up there first posted about these already. So you should know this video is coming if you do follow the Instagram. But now let's get into it. So one more time, shout out to the guys at Hype Room for letting me hold these for a review. This is not a personal pair, but here we go. You guys see it. The Jordan 1 box, regular Jordan 1 box, black box with the red Nike Air. I'm going to take the top off right there, and we will get into the shoe. So which one has the laces on it? I want to get to the one without the lace. Okay. So here is the right sneaker, man. You guys heard the title, side of the thumbnail. You know what it is. It is no surprise. We have the Jordan 1 Smoke Gray, or what some people call the Broke Man's Union. Now, I personally really, really like these. And I, at first, I was a little upset about them, not because of anything, how they look, but because everyone thought we were getting a Bloodline 2.0. And I personally really, really liked the Bloodline, but this is what we got instead. But after getting my whole affinity for the Bloodline out of there and actually looking at the shoe and taking it for what it's worth, I actually really like this sneaker now. I was out of town this past weekend, so I couldn't really enter into any stores. There weren't any stores for it. There's only one store for me to enter into, one finish line in the area where I was, and I lost the raffle, but I couldn't enter into my usual stores where I would to try to pick these up. Um, so I couldn't really get my hands on a pair. I also tried the sneakers app, didn't work. So it is what it is. Couldn't get my hands on the pair, but shout out to Hype Room for letting me get my, my hands on a pair for you guys to review. Hopefully, maybe down the line, you guys might see me pick these up. I got a couple of sneakers um, that I have that I'm planning to sell, a couple of DS shoes that I could get some good money for. And if I could find a good price on these, I might get a pair. But there's another sneaker that I kind of want before these. But we'll see. Now, let's just get into a review of the shoes. So, we'll just start with the outsole. As you guys can see, nothing special. Regular Air Jordan 1 outsole, all black on the bottom. Now, if we get to the midsole of the shoe, once again, nothing special. Just a white midsole. The upper of the shoe is where things really stand out. So on the screen, I'll put a picture of the Union ones. So you guys can kind of see why people are calling these the Union ones. Because you have, it looks almost like it's two different shoes. You have the kind of like a smoke gray shoe at the bottom. And then maybe like a Chicago up top. But when we get into the materials, that's what really puts the shoe over for me. So the suede on this shoe is actually really nice. Really soft suede. Um, just really nice. Really and the, the suede only hits on the gray and on the swoosh. So right here, you do have your regular leather. Nothing nothing at all special about this leather that you get on the medial or the, the toe box of the shoe. Just regular um, Jordan leather, which we know isn't the greatest leather. Regular Jordan 1 leather. Kind of like what you got on your court purples or the royal toes that came out this year. Exact same type of leather there. But the suede, once again, on the gray and on the swoosh actually feels really really nice really nice in hand i'm actually surprised how good it feels in hand um the more that i hold this shoe the more upset i am that i wasn't able to get my pair of them but you never know may get a pair down the line and then when you get to the angle collar too this is a really nice touch even though it is completely a lot of people are calling it unfinished this is a finished look of the sneaker you can see how it's stitched and the sock liner goes around there but they do put the suede on there on the ankle collar just to kind of give it that unfinished feel make it a little rough up there around the edge to kind of try to simulate um what we got going on with the unions but these are really dope you do get your black jump man too or not your black jump man sorry your black wings logo on the heel piece here and you do get signed out on the heel on the ankle piece here with the red leather so this is the only part of the shoe that is leather other than the white right here we also have finally um, I can't remember the last time this happened in 2020, but on the tongue tag here, we do have your regular nylon 
Nike Air with all of the writing on the back versus the leather tab that we've been getting this year. Like we got on the pine greens, we got the leather tab on the court purples, we got the leather tag on the royal toes. Um, that's just what we've got accustomed to getting this year was the leather tag on the one. But now we have, like I said, a nylon tag like usual. So I know a lot of people are going to like that because not everybody liked the leather tag. I personally did like the leather or do like the leather. I shouldn't say did, but it is what it is. Now, these are a size. What size are these? These are a size eight. So if you guys do need a size eight, make sure you go ahead and head over to Hype Room. Head over to their Instagram um, at Hype Room or at Hype underscore room CT. Hit them up. Tell them I sent you. I know they have these. They also have, when I was in there to pick these up, I think they had three or four other pairs. They have a bunch of sizes of these, and I know they have more of them just coming in. So definitely go hit them up for a pair. Now, I do want to get into the left shoe just really quick because on the left shoe, we do have an extra set of laces. We have an extra set of white laces. Not sure how they'll look in this shoe. I think the black lace is the best lace for this sneaker. Maybe a red lace would be all right, or maybe a gray lace. Not sure how the white one would look, but if any of you guys that have them, if you did lace them up with the white lace, let me know how you think about it. But really, really dope shoe in hand. Actually, really good quality. Really surprised me the quality of this way. Like I said, the leather quality is regular. It's kind of weird to have such a contrast and just regular Jordan 1 leather quality, but then a really good suede on top of it, um, as well as around on the heel collar there. And then you do, once again, I did say we had the nylon tongue. Really do like these. The poor man unions, the smoke gray ones, the bloodline 2.0s, rest in peace, whatever you want to call them. Thank you guys again for letting me hold these for the review, man. Um, man, uh, hey guys, don't be surprised if I end up with a pair of these. I really like these in the hand. If this was a size 12, I'd probably, instead of giving them back, I'd probably just show up there with cash and be like, yo, I'm keeping these. But uh, yeah, guys, that is it for this video. The Jordan 1 smoke gray. Let me know what you guys think about these. Did you hit? Did you get a pair? Did you get more than one pair? Do you have a size 12 that you want to throw your boy a lob for? You don't got to hit me over the head too hard with them. But that is it for this one, man. I am the Anonymous Sneakerhead. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already to join the channel, the goal is to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. Maybe 700 by August 1st. Who knows? We'll see. And then hit that like button since you made it this far. You might as well. Just because helps with the algorithms, helps the video, helps bring new people to the channel, helps introduce more people to the Anonymous Sneakerhead. And then last but not least, follow my Instagram at Anonymous Sneakerhead. Get a lot of info up there first. But that is it for this one, guys. I am the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. And as always, it's all about the sneakers.